U.S. bringing destabilizing weapons out of the shadows, Russia. The U.S. deployment of intermediate range missiles in the Philippines is another step by Washington aimed at escalating the level of military confrontation in the Asia-Pacific, Russian ambassador to Washington Anatoly Antonov has said. Last week, a Typhoon mid-range capability missile system was flown from the U.S. to the northern island of Luzon in the Philippines, which is separated by Taiwan by the 250-kilometer-wide Luzon Strait. U.S. Army Pacific said that the landmark deployment took place as part of the joint Salaknib 24 exercises with Filipino troops and showcased the extensive reach and logistical precision of the American military. Typhoon systems, which were first introduced in 2023, can fire both the standard Missile 6 and Tomahawk missiles, with the latter having a range of up to 2,500 kilometers. The Pentagon's public demonstration of its capabilities in the Asia-Pacific region for the rapid deployment of missile weapons, previously banned under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, raises deep concern. Antonov wrote in a post on Telegram, By delivering a typhoon system to the Philippines, the U.S. side is bringing an entire class of destabilizing weapons out of the shadows to ensure its military superiority over opponents, he stressed. Such actions by the U.S. signify another powerful blow to strategic stability, the ambassador said, adding that Asia has already accumulated a lot of hot material and the region is rapidly militarizing. The U.S. is purposefully escalating the level of military confrontation and fueling hotbeds of tension in the Asia-Pacific in an attempt to return the world to the darkest times of the Cold War and balancing on the brink of a nuclear conflict, he said. We urge the US not to open Pandora's box and follow our country's example by taking all necessary steps to ensure global stability and predictability, Antonov stated. Russians got order to capture Chasiv Yar by May the 9th. Ukrainian forces fortify defense. Russian troops have been ordered to capture the town of Chasiv Yar in Donetsk Oblast by May the 9th. Ukrainian armed forces are strengthening defense in this direction to contain the enemy's advance, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook. Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, noted that the enemy is attempting to breach the defense west of Bakhmut to reach the Siversky Donets Donbass Channel. Capturing Chasiv Yar will create conditions for further enemy advancement towards the Kramatorsk agglomeration. Sirsky emphasized that Ukrainian brigades have dug in effectively. Indeed, the armed forces managed to destroy infantry groups that advanced into the Novi micro district. Occupiers were eliminated by FPV kamikaze strikes and artillery fire. However, the threat remains relevant considering that the Russian military command has tasked its troops with capturing Chasiv Yar by May the 9th, Sirsky noted. According to him, measures have been taken to significantly reinforce brigades with ammunition, drones and electronic warfare assets to strengthen our troops' defense in this direction. The main conclusion from the two-day work on the front line is the necessity to enhance the quality of training, including the morale-psychological component, increase the number of high-tech unmanned systems of various purposes with trained operators, and improve the quality of conducting asymmetric actions to reduce the enemy's combat potential, added the chief. Overall, following the capture of Avdiivka, Russian forces continue to push further eastward in an attempt to break through the defense. 
One of the enemy's priorities is Chasivya. The Ministry of Defense emphasized that the village of Bodanivka in the Bakhmut district remains under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces where heavy fighting is ongoing.